How's it going guys? Today's going to be more of a quick tip type video, so let me know if you like these in the future. Basically, I had a viewer write in, they wanted to, I believe, change the desktop icons for web URL shortcuts on the desktop. You see how if you make them with Google Chrome, it just has the regular Chrome icon, and then if you were to uh, drag it even to create the shortcut, as you can see, it's all the same icon. So how do you customize that? to be specific to the site. Now they asked if there was any way to create like a custom one where you would type in a letter or something. So I, for Google, it might be a big G or something. I don't know if there's any way to do that. What I can tell you how to do is make it so these shortcut icons here will be the same, and I'll zoom in, will be the same as these little icons here. These are called the favicon, so we're gonna make it so the Google icon will be a G, the Twitter icon will be the Twitter icon, so it's a lot easier to recognize. So to do this, basically, first, if you right click on each icon, you'll notice that you go to properties, change icon, and then you'll have the ability to select uh, a few, but we want to create a custom one. So what you have to do here is every site has one of these little favicons, these little things, and it's always located at the base URL. So for google.com, it's just google.com, and then you type in favicon.ico, and I'll zoom in so you can see that. So you can see it's just favicon.ico. You go to it and then, well, I'm gonna have to move it up. And then there it is. So it's in the middle of the page. I'll zoom out a little bit more. So this is what the whole window looks like and it's just in the middle. So what you need to do is, you're gonna need to save this icon somewhere. So if you go to save as, and then maybe you wanna put it into, I don't know, documents and then create a new folder called uh, icons or something like that and then save it in here because you need to keep them when you go to change it because if you delete them then they'll go, all go away so I'll call this one I have to zoom in here so you guys can actually see so I'll call this one google.ico save it in there and then it went in and now if you go to right click properties, you go to change icon, and then navigate to where you saved it. So documents, and then where did we put it into icons? And then there it is. And then now you see it shows up, click okay, okay. And now this icon is the Google icon. So let's try that again with Twitter. And I'll show you as another example. So we go to Twitter.com, delete anything extra. Uh, Twitter.com slash favicon.ico. And you can see it's very small, but it is in the middle. So you right click, save image as, and then it should go into the same folder if you saved it recently. But if not, just navigate to it. We'll call this one Twitter. And then it goes in. So now we can go to right click properties, change icon browse to the Twitter one, click on open when it's selected, and now this one will be the Twitter icon. So you can do this with any number of uh, URLs. I don't know if there's any way to change it, uh, customize it besides using these icons. I mean, theoretically, you could go into Photoshop and create your own, but that's probably a little bit more involved. Actually, let me hold on a second. Okay, so I actually have figured out a way you can create a custom icon using Microsoft Paint. It's kind of crude, it's not perfect, but all you do is uh, go into the Start menu, search for Microsoft Paint, and then you need to first resize this to be pixels, and then uncheck maintain aspect ratio, make it 255, uh, 255 it's for the correct size, and then this will be that, and then you want to go add text so let's just say we're going to make one for youtube and you type in yt whatever and it needs to be any color except black because for this the icon is going to have a black background even though it shows white it's just the way it works out so type in yt 
and then you can select this and resize it if you want so like look like that so very crude and then you go to save save as and then other formats and then here's the important part so I'll zoom in here down here where it says select type you go to 24 bitmap and then you need to save it as whatever dot ico so youtube dot ico save and then now in the folders menu you'll see that you actually have the one you just made but like i mentioned the, the background is black i don't know why that is because i guess paint doesn't save natively as ico so it just kind of does something weird but you can still have custom thumbnails it's going to look weird um and the little dots around it are because i resized that text in any case though you can right click we'll go down to properties again change icon browse to that icon and now we have that little custom icon we made so if you want to do that that way these probably make the most sense just to use the favicon so you know um and then you'll be able to easily remember just based on the image if you really want to make a custom one uh, you can do that so yeah if you were wondering ever how to create custom icons like that that's how you do it let me know if you guys want me to do more tips like this in the future uh, let me know down in the comments you can always tweet at me with suggestions for stuff like that so have a good one